Hey there, Variety viewers. Welcome to this episode of Hot Wheels Hoarders. Today I got a few new things to show you here. Shout out to Mama Bear because all these things actually came from her. Just shows y'all how much she supports my uh, supports. Just shows y'all how much she supports my Hot Wheels addiction slash collection. Um, but anyways, we'll get right into it. The first thing you see right straight in front of you on the camera there is these two DVDs. It is the Hot Wheels Acceleracers. Um, this one, it is movie two and movie three. I'm not sure how many there is all together. But this one is the Speed of Silence. And this one is Breaking Point. So that's movie two and movie three. Um, I've seen these on TV. I've seen a few episodes of these. I probably won't watch them. <clears throat> but they're cool to have for my collection. So I'll definitely hold on to them. This is actually now my third DVD. I also have... Um, Hot Wheels, The Origin of Awesome, uh, which came in uh, a package with a bone shaker at the top in the package. You guys have seen that in a previous video, one of my first Hot Wheels videos from back in the day, five months ago, not really back in the day, but yeah, so there's those two DVDs that I got, pretty wicked. Uh, next up, this is uh, just a McDonald's Hot Wheels car, there, it doesn't have a name. But I'll give you guys a look at it. There's a there's a top view, side view, back view, and front view. I mean, it's a cool looking car, definitely cool. But there's no name on it. It's just a McDonald's car, but it's Hot Wheels, so it'll stay in the collection. Up next, we have the Pop Cycle. This thing is pretty cool looking. Motor on the side there. Some springs on the back for the shocks. There's a bicycle on this side. This does not open. I thought it did, but it doesn't. There you go. Get a good look at it. There's a top view. It's got like an old school bicycle in there with the banana seat and the ape hanger handlebars. Thought that was pretty cool. Pretty different looking car. Nineteen ninety nine. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, next up, actually, I was just talking about one of these, uh, the bone shaker that I got in the DVD. Uh, it was a red bone shaker. Um, this one is purple, and it is actually DC Comics, the Joker bone shaker. There you go. As you can see, it says the Joker, and it's got a picture of the Joker's face in the O. So there's your side view, back view, front view with the, instead of the skull, I think it's like a jester type deal, like the Joker is, right? There's your top view. This one looks like it's been played with. You can see the front wheels all bent up there. I need to get a tool to fix all these bent axles. But yeah, so there's the bone shaker. Don't go out the table. Uh, next up here is my very first Ferrari. It's a Ferrari F430 Spider. As I said, it's my very first Ferrari. I've been waiting for a Ferrari in my collection for a long time. Now I finally got one, thanks to mom. Red and black, red and black, wow, white and black. You can see the tampo, nice. There's your top view, your side view, back view, front view. Really nice job, actually, on the front. Let me focus in on there. Come on. For some reason my camera doesn't want to focus in on that little spot, but you can see that it's yellow right there. It's actually got the yellow Ferrari symbol, so that's pretty sweet. My first Ferrari ever, ladies and gentlemen. Thumbs up. Love it. Uh, next up here, it doesn't say what it is on the bottom, but I already know that this is a 57 Chevy Bel Air. Very nice car. Got a good tampo on it. 
Ride Yourself Wild. It's actually in really good shape, too. So, yeah, there's 57 Chevy Bel Air. Another nice car. Next up, we have an 82 Corvette. It's in actually rough shape. It barely even rolls. The chassis hits hits the table, but that's all right. I like it because uh, pretty sure my oldest brother, shout out to Chris, aka All a Boot Gaming. Pretty sure he was born in this the year this car was born. Um, out eighty two. Um, but I like this one because the hood opens up. I try and put a little bit of pressure on it to make it stay open, but that never works. So, I mean, I can give you the best look possible in there for the top view. I'll see if my camera will let me focus. Uh, I guess it doesn't want to. But anyways, you can see there, it's in pretty rough shape. Looks like it's, well it is old. Looks like it's been played with quite a bit. But yeah, it'll stay in my collection. 82 Corvette. This is another Corvette, actually. This this car, not this exact one, not this color, but um, there is, it's called the Greenwood, Com Greenwood Corvette. I called that a Camaro, oh, that's a Corvette. Sorry, but uh, the Greenwood Corvette, the Mild to Wild edition, looks just like this one. So, I know this is a Corvette. Pretty wild looking, if you ask me. You can totally tell it's a Corvette, though, just by looking at it, right? Nice car. In really good shape. And last up for my loose collection, we have a Camaro. Con or Camaro, why do I keep saying Camaro? Corvette. 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 This is a Corvette concept car. I actually really like this one. I wish it was in a little bit better condition. Paint job's a little bit beat up. But it, it rolls really good. I bet you'd be a really good track car. If my tracks were all set up and complete, I'd try it out. But they're not all set up at the moment. Really nice car. Really nice concept. I like this car a lot. So that's it for my loose collection, my new addition to my loose collection. The last thing I want to show you guys is right here, and actually there's a funny story behind it. I was at my mom's for the weekend with my daughter visiting, and my mom and my daughter, they went to the store and they bought this car. And my mom, she doesn't, like, she doesn't really know what to look for for a treasure hunt, so she had no idea. Um... And she bought this car, and then I brought it home, and I posted it on my Facebook page. Um, my Facebook group, Hot Wheels Over Everything. And uh, shout out to Aaron Fillion, because he pointed out that this, in fact, is a treasure hunt. So my mom and my daughter found me this wonderful treasure hunt right here. You can just, you can see it's... The symbol's on the package under the car right there. Can't really see because the car won't move enough for you to see it, but it's right there. And then the symbol, the actual treasure hunt symbol itself is right there on the hood. It's in the design. You can try and get it to focus, but I don't think it's going to work. There must be something on my camera. I'll have to take a look at that, but you can get the idea. Or you can even look right here and see that the treasure hunt symbol is right there. So again, shout out to Aaron Fillion for pointing that out for me. Uh, greatly appreciate it. That is now my sixth treasure hunt that I own, so I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I didn't actually find it myself, but my mom and my daughter found it, so that counts. That's good enough for me. So yeah, this is the Volkswagen Beetle. It's an older Beetle, you can tell. Yeah. So I apologize uh, for the quality of my camera in this episode. Um, I'll fix that. And, uh, variety viewers, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more Jay's Variety Show and we'll catch you on the flip side. Take care guys.